Hi, my name is Stephanie, and in this course I'm going to teach you to take a simple design sketch and develop it into a beautiful atmospheric visualization using only Photoshop. I've been crafting landscape visualizations professionally for eight years, and I've helped create visions for some incredible public realm projects during this time. I keep evolving and improving the techniques I use, but I always return to the same basic tools within Photoshop, and I'm going to show you how to use those effectively in this course. In my education, I experimented a lot with mixing drawing, painting, photos, and textures to help paint a vibrant picture of my design concepts. I wasn't really good at talking about design, so I always wanted my visuals to tell the story for me. I honed my skills while working in Berlin on design competitions, so I know very well how to use Photoshop effectively and efficiently for the purpose of crafting a visual. So what are we actually going to create? I'm going to show you step by step how to take this sketch and develop it into a final landscape image that looks like this. I'm going to give you all of the assets that you need to create this visual. They're going to be available in a download link. If you feel ambitious, you might even try these steps on your own sketches, but be sure to post your progress regularly so I can help you out if you get stuck or show you a different way to do things. Being able to take a rough sketch and make it into a clean digital image means you'll be way ahead of the game when it comes to creating images for presentations at work, at school, and for your own portfolio. I wasted a lot of time trying to learn different software to achieve the effects I wanted, but ultimately a lot can happen directly in Photoshop. Don't get me wrong, it's useful to learn software, but if you're in a crunch, it's great to be able to skip some steps and still be able to get a great image out of it, especially when all you want to do is go home and get some rest. Visuals are invaluable as a design tool, not just as a final way to show your project. Once you see your design come together with real textures in perspective, you might even begin to reevaluate some of the decisions you made. This helps pinpoint areas in the project that need more attention that you might not have noticed before. You'll end up with a better design because you can quickly see what's working and what needs improvement. You'll also be able to get more precise feedback from your colleagues and instructors in advance of important presentations. The tips and tricks you'll learn in this course will help you with any kind of Photoshop work you need to do, not just on perspectives, but on plans, sections, and diagrams. You can begin to apply these lessons to almost anything you need to get quickly done in Photoshop. If you practice the skills I show you in this course, you'll master the most fundamental tools in Photoshop and start building your own signature style. I'm going to cover all of the basic Photoshop commands and tools that you need to get started. These are the tools I use all the time in every single image that I create. I'll also talk about why we put together the visual in a certain order, how to properly use shadows and light, where to find free assets online, and other helpful tips that you can put into practice right away. After this course, you'll be ready to transform your own design sketches and use these principles to build a style of your own. You'll find creating images for your portfolio, projects, presentations, and competitions will be a lot less intimidating and easier to tackle. You might even decide to revisit some old projects and give them a facelift based on your new skills. To get started, please use the link in the course to download the Assets folder. This contains all the background images and the sketch we're going to use to build the visual. We'll get started with loading all of these into Photoshop in the next lesson. Looking forward to sharing this course with you. See you in class.